Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jack here back at the mall doing another cigar box guitar, not really lesson, just talking about cigar box guitars. And today's topic that I came up with is what's the difference between a humbucker and a single coil? Tone wise, how do they sound different or do they? Well, depends on a lot of different variables. I know you don't want to hear that for an answer, but it's the truth. So, when I first started making cigar box guitars, I used piezo transducers. And personally, I can't stand them. Uh, you just can't, for the main reason, you can't get a good sound with distortion on them. I have yet to find a decent sound with a transducer with a distortion setting on your on your amp. It's just almost impossible. And I know some people have achieved a sound that they like, but I never have, <laughs> to be real honest with you. Uh, I've used a glass slide with a transducer. I've used brass, I use metal, porcelain, every kind of different slide you can imagine. And I like to have a little bit of overdrive when I play slide because it sustains better and it's easier to hear the different melodies that you're playing. So if you're playing, even if you're just playing some chords and you're not even playing a melody, uh, the uh, transducers just kind of muddy everything up to me and everything is way too bright and way too metallic and ugh, just don't like them. So that leaves a single coil pickup or a humbucker pickup. And Here's where it gets dicey. Uh, a lot of people have opinions on this as well, myself included. And to cut to the chase, let's just say that you can get the same sound with either pickup. There's probably a few of you out there that are like, uh, nope, you're wrong, big time, Jag. And I respect you for that, but you really can. It's kind of, uh, it does take some time. <laughs> and it takes a lot of experimentation with your pedals and with your amp and your amp settings and your distortion settings and your reverb and all that stuff. But I can't really tell much of a difference between the two. I can't really tell much of a difference on the six string uh, guitar or a cigar box guitar between the single coil and the humbucker. Uh, the only thing I can tell you is experiment. And if you've got a different style of playing and you have maybe several different amps, I would say try different amps and experiment with them. And I think you'll probably find that you can get the same sound on the single coil or a humbucker. Which brings up the question, why are there different pickups at all? Well, your single coil tends to have a home. Hence the dual coil humbucker. It bucks the home, supposedly. And you can check out my other video talking about different humbucker pickups and are they really humbuckers? That's a whole nother subject, but if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. Because there's lots of humbuckers that home. So, back to our subject at hand. What is the better pickup to play slide guitar, a single coil or a humbucker? And I think, for me, I prefer a porcelain slide. Which gives me a certain tone which sounds great either on a single coil or a humbucker. I don't recommend either one of those pickups over another for slide playing or non-slide playing. It really comes down to the sound that you're going for. Uh, humbuckers tend to be a little bit more distorted when you play slide. So if you want a big fat kind of grinding sound, then humbucker's probably the way to go. If you want a thin, kind of piercing, 
uh, very glassy, I guess you would say, sound. Uh, not too distorted. You probably want a single foil for something like that for slide. But keep in mind that it's really uh, important to experiment with different types of slides too. Because if you use a glass slide, depending on your settings, you're not gonna get much of a grind out of it. And by grind, I mean when you slide up, you get that wow sound. But again, <laughs> your mileage may vary with the settings on your amp and your the guitar that you're using and your pedals and all that stuff. So I can't really recommend a single coil uh, over a humbucker or a humbucker over a single coil in that in that uh, circumstance because you can pretty much get the same tone out of either pickup personally i use a lot of finger picking when i play slide i play melodies with my fingers and i play the chords with the slide and i play chords by barring with my fingers as well but i do a whole lot of uh, melody playing when i play slide which means for me single coil tends to work a little bit better it's not quite as as grungy not quite as uh, heavy if you've ever heard the band Foghat, then you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't heard the band Foghat, F-O-G-H-A-T, they had some big hits back in the 70s, uh, check out his slide. His slide is very distorted and it's grinding, what I call grinding, all the time. But it works great and I like it. However, it all kind of, kind of comes down to the song that you're playing as well. But you can get that grinding sound on either a single coil or a uh, humbucker. Also, you can take a, this is really getting to be confusing here, but you can take a humbucker, which normally has a fat sound, and you can tweak your amp and make it sound like a single coil. And you can take a single coil and tweak your amp and your pedals and make it sound like a humbucker. So that's a pretty cool thing to do because if you play gigs, you don't want to be changing your slide and you don't want to be changing your amps and changing your guitars mid set, right? Just so you can play that song or that song. I mean, some people like that to do that and it's, it is kind of fun, but if you want to keep it nice and easy, I play a lot of, uh, one set gigs opening up for other people. And I don't want to be changing guitars four times in a 45 minute set, right? So you can use your pedals and use a compression pedal to uh, get that grind sound on either a single coil or a humbucker, if it's not grinding enough. Use the uh, compressor, and it does give you a little bit more of that kind of uh, squashed sound, I guess you'd say, but it also gives you a little bit more of the simulated distortion. So you can make a humbucker sound like a single coil, and you can make a single coil sound like a humbucker. It all kind of comes down to how you play, the type of slide that you use, and of course the amp and the pedals that you use. Um, one kind of sidebar here is I don't like compression very much uh, when I play slide. It tends to squash your slide tone and it's not a very fat, full sound. It doesn't really cut through it in a band situation as much in my experience but uh, your mileage may vary on that again, depending on the guitar, depending on the amp, and so forth. So what I would do is do an A-B test, take a, uh, your favorite amp and do an A-B test with a humbucker guitar, and then do an A-B test with a single coil guitar, and do a video, and go back and watch the video, and see if you can determine which one you like the, the best. Also, your uh, your pedals have a lot to do with that because you want to be experimenting with different distortion pedals if you use those and compressors and so forth and see what you think. In my experience with a little bit of time and experimentation, you can pretty much make a single coil with slide sound just like a humbucker with slide and vice versa. It just takes a little bit of time and experimentation. Your amp settings also have a lot to do with it. So it's not something that you can just plug in in 20 minutes and, and come up with an answer. You have to spend a lot of time experimenting with different amps, different settings, 
and uh, different slides and pedals of course but i don't really recommend a single coil over a humbucker or humbucker over a single coil although i kind of prefer the thin single coil sound with my six string cigar box guitar i've got a six dollar pickup which came pre-soldered years ago from uh, china for six dollars it had the cables already attached with a volume control six bucks you can still buy them for about six bucks and uh that's my main cigar box guitar it has been for almost 20 years and that one has an absolutely amazing tone uh one final thought here is myself personally i tend to err on the conservative side as far as the uh, distortion uh when i play slide I, when i started out playing i had a lot of distortion because i thought well that's what Thawcat did, so that's what I'm going to do. Not necessarily. So, what I do is I come up with a setting where if I play harder and slide harder, I get a little bit more distortion. Or sort of sounds like I'm getting more distortion. It may not actually be more distortion. I don't really even know. So, set your amp where you like it and experiment with a single coil and different slides until you find the sound that you like the best. And I think you'll figure it out on your own over time, which one you prefer. Uh, like I said earlier, I do a lot of melodies and intricate finger picking when I play slide. I don't just grind, 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 round, round, round all over the place when I play slide. I do a lot of intricate uh, finger picking, so I don't want those notes to be real, real, real fat. I don't want them to be real distorted. So experiment with that. Let me know your thoughts on that and questions if you have any. Also let me know what types of lessons you're interested in learning and what songs and what artists and I'll do my best to accommodate you. I'm getting a whole slew of uh, requests which is fantastic because I put them down to my list and then I go back and I learn them and I try to uh, try to give you what you want. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next time.